Welcome to this quick guide on oncology medical homes and accountable care organizations. Coordinated care is a strategy for providing health care. The coordinated care model aims to deliver high-quality, high-value care by paying close attention to a patient's needs and preferences and by sharing information among all of the health care providers treating the patient. Coordinated care is patient-centered. This is a term used to describe care that is respectful of and responsive to each patient's needs and preferences, and that ensures the patient's goals and values guide all clinical decisions. Oncology Medical Homes and Accountable Care Organizations are two examples of coordinated care. Your oncologist may be part of an oncology medical home that includes physician assistants, nurse practitioners, mental health providers, and social workers. It is called a home because your care is coordinated by and through your oncologist. This includes care that may not be for your cancer, like an appointment with your general physician. A medical home is not a place, like a nursing home. It is a team of health care providers, like an oncology office. The medical home coordinates care among all of a patient's health care providers, whether or not that care is for their cancer. They make it a priority to track the patient's medications across providers. They also communicate and share knowledge with the patient and caregiver and among providers. An oncology medical home will also help patients transition from one provider to another, create a proactive care plan, monitor and follow up with a patient to make sure they get the care they need, and refer patients to community resources. Medical homes take into account all of a patient's needs through a whole-person approach to care. This means they make it a priority to focus on the patient's specific medical concerns, hire providers who are easy for patients to talk to, encourage patient-provider communication, including after hours, and help coordinate or make appointments with other providers. By focusing on the whole person, medical homes aim to reduce hospital admissions and emergency room visits, educate and engage patients, and provide patients with the best quality of life. Medical homes also try to control costs. They do this by providing evidence-based care. That's the term used for treatments research studies have shown are most effective, including patient views and values in treatment decisions spending more time with patients, and reducing unnecessary visits, tests, and procedures by improving communication among patients, families, and the treatment team. These goals can benefit all cancer patients. An accountable care organization can include doctors, clinics, hospitals, and insurers. Their goal is to work together to improve a patient's experience and provide high-quality care while reducing costs. There are more than 800 accountable care organizations currently operating in the U.S., serving an estimated 23.5 million Americans. By coordinating care, an accountable care organization aims to prevent medical errors, reduce unnecessary tests, avoid duplication of services, and reduce costs. The doctors and hospitals that are part of an accountable care organization share financial and medical responsibility for their patients. When an accountable care organization delivers high-quality care and spends health care dollars wisely, the providers share in the savings. Patient advocates are watching closely to see if accountable care organizations meet their goals. They are concerned that these programs may limit the treatments a doctor can use or place less emphasis on the patient's goals and values when making treatment decisions. Providers who are part of an oncology medical home or an accountable care organization may use cancer treatment guidelines to determine the best treatments for you. They may also use clinical pathways to determine what treatments to offer. Our companion courses on cancer treatment guidelines and clinical pathways will teach you more about how these models may influence the treatments your doctors recommend. Clinical trials may be an option for all cancer patients at different points in their cancer care. Getting cancer care in an oncology medical home or through an accountable care organization should not prevent you from taking part in a clinical trial. You should feel comfortable talking to your doctor about how being a part of an accountable care organization or an oncology medical home will affect your care. Here's an example of how that conversation might go. How will your team coordinate my care? There will be a navigator who will work with all of your doctors to coordinate your care. 
This includes doctors who are not part of your oncology team. How did you decide on my treatment? Did you follow cancer treatment guidelines or a clinical pathway? The treatment I recommended is the standard of care for your cancer. It is recommended by national guidelines. Are there clinical trials I should consider? There is a clinical trial that is comparing the standard of care to a new cancer treatment. Would you like me to get someone to give you more information about it? By being an active participant in your care, you can make your values, goals, and concerns known. This is true whether your healthcare team is part of an oncology medical home or an accountable care organization.